I'm Scott Crow of Oceanate Aquatics TV. Now let's talk about the beginning of the cycle of your aquarium. Once you start your aquarium, you go four weeks in and you start getting some serious brown nasty algae that starts building up in your sand bed, your rocks, and of course on the glass of your tank. This is the magic diatom bloom. Everyone's gonna get this. It's a natural part of cycling your aquarium. What today's OSA pro tip of the week is how to stop this diatom bloom and what to expect and how to move forward with cycling your reef aquarium. First and foremost, the thing you have to understand is you have to use RODI water, reverse osmosis deionized water. This is very important to your reef aquarium. Normal tap water carries a lot of silicates and chemicals in the water. When you're using pure water like RODI, you're bringing down the chances of adding silicates to your water that'll really create this phosphate bloom much, much worse. The next thing you wanna make sure is you have good, strong flow in the aquarium. Aquarium is very based on flow. You gotta remember, salt water is from fast moving, crashing areas. A lot of strong water currents. So you wanna make sure you have good, strong water flow going across your sand, but not too much where it blows your sand around and also across your rocks. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to get into is a good, strong phosphate remover. Anything that removes silicates out of the water. You could also use a GFO as well. One of the things I like to use here at the Aquarium Design Studio is PhosGuard or PhosBond by Seachem. These are fantastic products to help against prevent any sort of phosphate breakouts and also help prevent any sort of phos blooms. With using these products, you'll slow down the process and they also absorb the silicates. Another great way of going about this is also making sure you have a great protein skimmer. At this point, since you're cycling your aquarium, your proteins are really gonna start getting picked up by the protein skimmer, and this is where you're really gonna start seeing the protein skimmer working at its full potential. The very next thing is one of my all-time favorites. This is when you start adding the animals to the aquarium. Now, you're gonna pick and choose the animals you're adding very carefully because this is the beginning of the cycle of the aquarium, and the aquarium's not ready for everything. This is when you start beginning to add your cleanup crews. Cleanup crews carry of anything like See any sort of Nazareth snails, any sort of Astrea snails, things that are gonna bury, mix up the sand, sand sifting starfish, also diamond gobies, any sort of hermit crabs, good thing animals that are gonna help that subfornia to mix up the sand and also help clean up off the rocks. Now that you've got a great cleanup crew inside the aquarium, now it's time to start adding fish. Some of the first fish I like to get is things like clownfish because they're captive bred and they do very well but they're not gonna help you in cleaning the diatoms in your aquarium. Great fish species to do this is things like coal tanks, yellow tanks, and one of my favorite species that's totally underrated is a scopus tang. These animals like to pick at the rocks and will slowly pick off diatoms or any sort of nuisance allergy in the aquarium and on the rocks. The next thing we like to add is the corals. The corals is what really makes the reef tank pop. You're gonna get some diatoms on the beginning of when you start adding corals to the tank. You know what, that's totally natural. This is part of the process. Over time, as you add more and more corals, the diatoms are gonna actually slowly start going down and down and down. Once you hit about six weeks, that's when you're really gonna start your first water change. And I strongly suggest doing a water change bi-weekly from that period of time. As you add more fish and more corals, and over time, the diatoms will eventually go away. If they start coming back, it's time to make sure you stick on your water changes and make sure you're not overfeeding your aquarium. Guys, a diatom bloom is a natural part of the cycling aquarium. Every aquarium, especially reef aquariums, is gonna go through this. It's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go about a three to four weeks through this diatom bloom. It's what we call the ugly stage. It's part of it. But as long as you stick to these OSA pro tips, this is gonna help you to get along the way and be much more successful of having a great aquarium. If you have any questions, make sure you come by the Aquarium Design Studio here at Oshade Aquatics. Hit us up in the comment section below or feel free to send us a message. And as always, guys, keep on reefing.